It's a beautiful day in Napa Valley, and I'm wine tasting. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Uh, I stopped by Selena's Vintners, which is actually a very cool space. I'm with yes. Eric Bolin of Bolin Family Estates, and we're going to be tasting your wines. But tell me a little bit about where you make your wines. This is Selena's Vintners, and there are 13 of us that make our wine here. So it's a little Vintner co-op, and uh, we have a co-op tasting room here that features 11 of the 13 wines. Most, I know quite a few of these, yeah. So most, uh, most of the wines here are, are rather small, under a thousand cases or more. So it's a great opportunity to come to really taste some artisan wines that you're not going to find anywhere else. Right. And we're going to taste, we're going to do some barrel tasting, aren't we? We are. We're going to head right down to the barrel right. cellar. So when, right people, when people, when Thirsty Girls come and see you in Napa Valley, you're going to give them the same experience, right? Oh, heck yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first we're going to go taste Eric's beautiful 2007 Merlot and then head in to barrel taste. This is our brand new release as of two days ago. It is our 2007 Oak Knoll Merlot. All right, pour it in. I'm a thirsty girl. All right. It's in my glass. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Merlot, I have to say this. And when it's done well. Um, and to me, I talk about Merlot as the cashmere of the wine world because you can wrap yourself in it. You know, it's all about texture and smoothness, yeah, but still with vibrancy. Yeah. So when you talk about your Merlot, because this does have that, I feel like just diving in the glass right now. But Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got that freshness too. So what are you seeking with, with Merlot here? We're seeking to, we want to differentiate ourselves from Cavs and the other Merlots out there. We found a logistical thing where a lot of wineries, they're picking the Merlot based on when their Cavs going to get picked. And they get it through, they ferment it, and their whole goal is to get it out of the tanks before the cab comes in. So I think they're picking too early. So I'm picking my wine when people are picking Cavs or just after we pick Cavs. This one was picked uh, the last week of October. So we're delivering a fruit profile that's unique to calves in this region. Oh, I got you a little short. Let me hit you another one. I don't want to leave you wanting. No, not at all. <laughs> I think there's an elegance to your Merlot that comes from your judicious use of oak. You know, you're not you're not killing it with oak, you're giving it a little kiss of oak, which complements things. You know, that's one thing that Napa Valley's become known for, unfortunately, is just these big oaky wines. Yeah. And Merlot's not an oaky wine. It just, it doesn't taste good with oak. And so we use just enough to, to bring out the layers and complexities that you expect from a fine Merlot right. without smelling it and being like, oh yeah, I get oak on that. Right. If you smell that, I didn't do my job. One of the questions that I get from viewers and readers a lot is, they worry about vintage. How does that affect the wine? And should they avoid a vintage or buy a vintage? And my general recommendation is find a producer that you like because a talented winemaker will make delicious wine in all vintages. Some will be amazing and you can lay them down or cellar them for years. Others are meant to be drunk right away. Um, but I'd like to talk to you, Eric, about vintage because, yeah. you know, should people get worried? How much do they need to pay attention to vintage? Vintage isn't, you nailed it there, I think. Vintage isn't near as important as the producer is. Mm -hmm. Here in Napa Valley, we don't necessarily have as much of a vintage issue as you're going to run into in Bordeaux. Italy, that type of place where they get summer rain. Our weather here is the same every year. It is gonna vary a little, but not to the extreme of good wine, bad wine. Well, all right, thank you very much. And I'm sure that I'll be um, invited back when this yes. is actually being blended and put into bottles. Oh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.